be with you guys in a second, but first, I'm going to enjoy Max Gamer Respect Mode, the weird intro roll that's Mario RPG. It's pretty long, but it's a bouncy tune, so it should be alright. We'll get started in a second. Oh, like Mario, yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. The art. Are you feeling it? That long intro? The title card? It's just sitting here now? Yeah, it's long, right? Bearded? That's, uh, it's not common for, uh, for Super Nintendo's, Super Nintendo games to have a demo loop in the first place. Okay, now, now the big reveal. The big reveal. Are you ready for it? <gasps> you guys are over there now. That's right, I figured out, uh, I figured out streamer angles, so that's it. Uh, I'm gonna figure out something to put back there. I think I'm gonna hang my uh, my tablet so it'll just be back there, dingling around a little bit. But oh, I can turn my fan on. Uh, actually, shoot, I should have done. There's another fan I have to turn on, but it's away. Oh, a new chair. Yeah. So okay, let me put this out there because I know what it looks like. Um, here, let me do this. <clears throat> yes, chair. So, uh, Secret Lab is making these chairs. They're extremely good and they're extremely expensive. Making branded cyberpunk chairs. 
Stephanie got one, um, but she didn't want it. There's another chair coming out that she wants, so she gave hers to me, um, which is great uh, because, <coughs> damn it. It's a mixture of a lot of things. I was actually already on uh, CDPR's influencer list even before she started working there, just because of my my passive aggressive dry humping of CD Projekt during the entire development of Cyberpunk. Uh, so I was already on their influencer list, but she also like, I don't know. I'm basically trying to explain that this isn't like some corrupt bullshit happening. Um, I hope I hope I did a good job of it. <laughs> Long story short, uh, it was her chair, but she's gonna get another even more ridiculous chair. Um, that's more suiting to her taste. And uh, since I stream and like, you know, the chair was gonna go somewhere. Anyway, I'm just trying to trying to cover my bases. I'm, mostly I wanna make sure Steph doesn't get in trouble for anything because uh, I do love her a lot. And uh, I know how the internet can be. Also, okay, so I also moved my mic. So let me know if it's too loud or too quiet or overblown or anything like that. I might, I'm gonna have to use you guys to uh, to help me achieve maximum maximum gamer. Hmm. Oh, it's doing the thing. Hold on a second. I'm, uh... I am playing this off of my Super Nintendo while also exporting a video on my computer. So, uh, you know what, I'll just pause that. There's no reason to let that run now. I thought, uh... uh yeah, there's, there's no rush. There's no rush on that. Okay. Sometimes my controller just doesn't work, I guess? Because it, like, loses connection or something? Alright. Can we get a moment of goodbye for the old chair? Sure. Uh, I don't- I need to find somebody to give it to. But, yeah, old chair's back there now. It's holding, uh, it's holding cyberpunk merch. Steph's mailing stuff out, so... Real SNES or SNES Mini? Neither? If it's any, if it's any consolation, I did own this game. So, I know that, I know that it doesn't really work that way, but I'm throwing that out. I'm throwing that out. Auction it on stream? Man, shipping that thing would be so expensive. Way too expensive. Hold the stream auction? Jeez. I don't know that I could, like, maybe, yeah, maybe that's what I'm giving away. Maybe it's, maybe it's, I'm, I'm covering the shipping. Hmm. Maybe. I'll, I'll think on it. I'll think on it. Hmm. Should I play this by the lore? Because I feel like... I feel like if people don't know the game, they're gonna have to know the characters. Nah. That's fine. Is it fine? I didn't expect this to cause such a crisis. I'm disassociating right now. for me. Perhaps a barter is warranted? <laughs> how many... How many picks? Is that a gray hair? So... Yes, but... Uh, my hair looks more gray in this light than it, uh, it normally does. I'm actually... So I use pomade, which makes it really shiny. And that makes, like, darker hairs catch light sometimes. So there is, like... You can see, like, that right there. That's actually gray, but it makes my hair look way lighter, like, at that light. So, maybe I'm doing myself a little favor. It looks like I got stripes, which isn't bad. But I noticed that. I was like, man, shit, am I already that gray? Oh, yeah, CDPR gave it to Steph. Steph didn't want it because she's getting a better chair. So I got to inherit it. Consider that, consider that a perk of being a kept, a kept boyfriend to a rich and powerful lady who works at CDPR. It's also pretty good on the old ass, not gonna lie. Cheers not bad, too! Whoa! Man. So, Super Mario RPG is a pretty special game. Um... It's very, it's very whimsical and fun. Uh, it's like the first time, I think, that there was ever any merit, like, meritable narrative attached to anything related to Mario? Um, 
like characters that had dialogue of any kind, uh, a world that had any kind of rules or aesthetic to it. Aside from like the weird sort of, like Nintendo had a weird kind of like anime version of Western cartoon vibe in their earlier games, stuff like Punch Out and Donkey Kong. Uh, so there was like there was always like cascading effects of that art style, and this was kind of different. Um, it's all pre-rendered sprites, so like Donkey Kong Country style, which I always think is pretty cool. It's definitely a look. It's one. It's one art style being gated by technological progress, paired with another art style that's also being gated by technological process. So it's like weirdly recursive and how uh, outdated it is. Did your setup change? Yes. The camera went from there to there. Rationale being that uh, I think the three-quarter perspective looks better. Um, I think it gives me more options about what I can put in the background. This way I look to chat when I'm talking to you guys, and then I can look back, perceptibly look back to the video game when I'm staring at my monitor. Also, I think my face, I think most people's faces just look better in perspective than dead on. Trashball Mike, thanks for the sub. Uh, Alistair, thank you for the, thank you for the sub. Shout out to my wife, not you, my actual wife. Shout out to Alistair's wife, not me. His actual wife. But yes, this is the new house. The Twitch Mansion's finally here. I bought it on Amazon, it took a while. That music is so... Those are some pleasing, pleasing farty farty basses. Plant's a nice touch, yeah Jess? I think I might. So I might put a... I think I'm gonna put a hue light back there. There's one on my desk right now, pointed at the blinds, which looks cool to me, but I don't need it. Um, I think if I put it on the floor there, pointing up at the wall, then I get a nice little color splash behind that plant. Or maybe on the plant. Um, that might be a little trickier, but I can figure it out. Yeah, there's a lot of- there's, there's some things I can do, some tweaks I can do back there. I think it'll look pretty nice. But you can, I think here, here and in a lot of places I can tell that this was, this was a technological prototype for Final Fantasy VII. Um, cause VI didn't have CG pre-rendered sprites like this. Um, VI used like pixel art and drawn backgrounds. This does use, uh, CG models that are rendered out to sprites for animations and backgrounds. So, it's actually the game that's closest to Final Fantasy VII, I think, in terms of, uh, Square's development, but it's it's weird how it's sort of the Mario branding kind of Puts it in a really weird spot because it's not a Mario game and it's not a Final Fantasy game, but it's kind of both I don't know. It's really cool. Uh, I remember liking the, the heck out of this game when I was a kid Also, it has like that timing element with the combat system. If you hit the button at the right time you do bonus damage or take less damage Oh, there's a lot going on in this game Play the Sonic RPG that Bioware made for the DS. No, but I, I heard it was great. Um, I wish I did. I remember that. What was the name of it? God. What a weird, what a weird window in video games that was. Hey, Shoryu King, thanks for the sub. Trashball Mike, thanks again. Uh, Squeegal, thanks for the prime. Con Colonel Panic, thank you for the prime sub. Woshi Fatty, Addy, entire Tiefling, thanks for the subs, guys. Nick Cage, I see you down there. And Pavement, almost a year. Wait, is it? Six months, I mean, hmm. Sonic Dark Brotherhood, I, oh, Dark Chronicles, <laughs> something like that. That sounds like Sonic. Uh, you're almost there. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Almost a year, huh? Oh, you heard it was meh? I mean... If you finally get the chance to play as Sonic and, and smooch in the Sonic universe... If you could smooch anyone in the Sonic universe, who would you smooch? That's gonna be my first... My first solo produced sketch on YouTube. I'm gonna be like a hard-boiled cop, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna be grilling down a punk and I'm gonna say, Alright, asshole. Let's say you wake up tomorrow and you're in Sonic universe. Who do you smooch? Shadow? 
Jim Carrey? Excellent, excellent answer. Jim Carrey was so good in that movie. You know, he was a he was a substantial uh, portion of what I enjoyed about that film. Although I gotta admit, Sonic, like that movie actually got a lot right. It's weird. My happiest memories are now of seeing Sonic the Hedgehog. Why did I hear Mario? Because that's Mario! Reunited at last. Also, he's got the strongest ass cheeks in the world. I mean, he's like... <sighs> Proportionally, let's say that Mario is a foot and a half tall. But he's just all muscle. So he's just clamping. He's clamping down on that, that rung. <sighs> Imagine being a grown-ass woman and that thing keeps showing up to help you out, but he never says anything. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> ampersand Y. Thank you for the Prime sub. Looks like you have launched the train. Scam train is rolling. I'm trying to adjust my posture a little bit. Do you guys ever... Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? A late title card? I think we've achieved art. He's stout. He's he's a stout little guy. I don't know, games like this make me like realize there is a weird effort put into the craft of Mario's character, even though he very rarely talks. And you're playing a good game when it has a cold open? Yeah. Last of Us Part 2 territory. That's where they got it from. That's where they got the idea. Uh, Kekisano, thanks for the sub. Locked, thank you for the cheer. So, like... I feel like you can, you can already really get the sense that this is a sort of Final Fantasy VII prototype game. This does look like a Final Fantasy VII house, but something that ha must have happened two years before that game. It's, that's exactly what it is. Uh, there's like, there's no lighting effects on the walls. I don't think you'd even have the resolution or the color depth to adequately convey that. Um, there's like that sort of thing. Seven, Seven's backgrounds went bananas with the like little glowing spots for, uh, and like flickering overlays for lights to make it look really moody and glowy, which it worked so well. Yeah, we need, like, jeez. I guess stuff like, uh, I was, I was wondering, does any game f look just straight up like this now? Kind of like the Donkey Kong Country cartoon looked? I guess ukulele is kind of the closest it gets. kind of cool. They made, like, tile sets out of... It's still tiled, but it looks like a... They were able to piece it so it looks like a larger set piece texture thing. Man. Alright. And we're done. Sector 7 vibes? Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the whole game. And you go to some weird places. Like, those plants are pretty wacky. Like, they're huge. But you can see the, like, crappy mid-90s uh, light bouncing off of the very waxy uh, uh, leaves and stuff. It's so cool. Yeah, Jess, I've, I always thought this game was cute as heck. And there's like, the dialogue's pretty adorable. Uh, the sprite work is pretty funny. It's got a, a lot of expressiveness, and it doesn't really use that, uh, that many frames of animation. Old game, but nice. It's the perfect description for this. I wish I could do that at a bridge and knock it down. This game and Paper Mario have the best Bowser? Like Paper Mario 1? I never finished Paper Mario. I just, I don't know. I was bummed that it wasn't Mario RPG 2. And it took, I never, I... It took until Thousand Year Door for me to get over that, really. I don't even know what, like... It would be cool, man. You want to talk about, like, wishlist games. 
If Square could make a sequel to this, that would be... That would be sick! I never once thought about that even being possible. If they made a brand new good Mario RPG for Switch? Well, I mean, come on. We don't know if, uh... It's not Color Splash. That was the last one. What's this one called? It looks like... It looks good. It looks like the battle system has, has nuance. Origami King? Ah, thank you. Origami Killer. Yeah, I hope it's good too. What's going on? Oh, I think maybe the toad's in my house. Alright. Can you dart something in the Final Fantasy VII Remake engine? But just like, making sure everything looks big and bright and squishy and like big Pixar Toy Story vibes. That would be awesome! Oh man, now I'm thinking about it. Got me thinking about it. For the Switch. Or maybe Switch 2, whatever. What's Nintendo gonna do? You know, we're, we're, we're not at that time yet, but it's a couple years away. Switch could use a hardware bump at this point. And holy crap, man. Nintendo sells a Switch 2 that's like up to date. Oof. Maybe, like, just as the next generation comes out, they release something that can play the last generation. So, like, get a Switch that can play uh, PS4 games. But just maybe it may be a knock in terms of resolution and texture quality, but, like, something handheld that can basically do that. Just on a smaller screen. Ooh. Oh, that feels nice. And, holy crap, hold on. I'm getting some big theory ideas here. So, that's even a, a smart business move because you have a bunch of games manufacturers who have this this like properties they built up over the past console generation they're about to sort of like age out a little bit so it's like not only can you keep releasing forward games but you can also port everything to this new platform and then everyone who had PlayStation 4 and didn't beat all of these games or, or whatever uh, had the last generation of stuff they then buy their backlog on Switch 2 thinking that that'll be the time they actually play it they won't ever do it uh, but that, that would be a pretty hot platform for like uh, backlog stuff for past generations, and also for publishers, because, man, re-releases sell so well right now. That would be... There's a lot There's a lot of fire there, I think. That's all... That's all purely from the consumer side of things, though. Oh, Xbox Game Pass? Oh. Could you imagine Xbox Game Pass on Nintendo Switch? Could you imagine it? You should imagine it. Fuck Switch. <laughs> I mean, my Switch doesn't work right now, so I, uh, I'm a little aggravated, but what's, uh, what, what, what beef you got with the Switch? I'm just curious. I ain't trying to fight. This game's too happy to get, get twisted about video games. Just want a Wii 2? Isn't that kind of like, a uh, Quest? Index. Give me GameCube games? Yeah. A portable GameCube downloadable service? They're not even doing N64 on Switch. Nintendo... It's weird. Un unlike virtually every other publisher, Nintendo does not step on the gas when it comes to extracting money out of their back catalog. It's crazy. I think they understand that, like, every time you sell something, it loses its sell value. And I think they like to have... It's, it's almost like investing. Like, it seems like they like to have easy wins banked up that they don't take because they don't need them right now, you know? That's how it feels. It's like they, they're cash rich. They're like the second most cash rich company in all of Japan. I think Sony's number one. That was something that I saw in an analyst meeting just, just recently, so... The Disney Vault? Yeah! Penguin Acorn. Wow, that's that's exactly the right, uh... Exactly the right parallel. There are so many parallels between Nintendo and Disney. So many. They're even getting, like, Nintendo's opening a theme park. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. In terms of cash in the bank? I think it's in terms of cat, wait. I think it was cash flow. But I could be wrong. It might just be resident cash. Man, those bass lines are clean. I could never hear that on my TV. 
What's up, DJ Trill? How you doing? This is a weird sensation. I've never heard the music this good before. I mean, the video is kind of weird because CRTs, I feel like, naturally fuzz out a picture. Well, the very real Super Nintendo mod probably has fuzzing options, but uh, I feel like it, it looks weird when I try to fake it like that. Uh, Kekasano, thanks for the resub. Locked and Ryan off of games. Thank you guys for the cheers. Yeah, new camera angle, right? I'm big streaming now. You can't, uh... No one likes a streamer where you can't see the entire profile of their face. Now you get every angle. We think of the best video game scene, assuming there exists such. Huh. Best scene. That's an interesting question. Huh. I don't know, they, got, they all got pluses and minuses. It's... trying to think of the most like wholesome wholesome stream or scene i would say speed running but that's like way too wide because there's a lot of subcult subcultures even within speed running so like but virtually everyone i've ever met or talked to from the speed running scene has always been extremely helpful collaborative and like open-minded and generous with their time um the final fantasy 14 community seems super wholesome and uh oh video game sex scene oh psh. are you serious It was so much more of a wholesome, a wholesome question. <laughs> That's a good twist, though. What a, what a swerve. What a legendary move. I gotta admit, that was some, uh, some galaxy brain maneuvering. Uh, Love Mario RPG. Played it many times growing up. It's my brother and I's favorite SNES game. I think it. I think it deserves. It deserves top ten for sure. I don't even know what else I would put in front of it. Maybe six, but imagine Final Fantasy VI, but with like technology of using pre-rendered pre-rendered sprites. That look would be. That look would be insane. So yeah. Just talking about it with the with the boys, with everyone in chat, but we've all agreed that uh, the only game that needs a full remake is is this game, or maybe a full on sequel. Yeah, the visuals are real, real impressive. Uh, like it's weird. It's usually like Donkey Kong Country or like Star Fox or Super Metroid. Well, maybe not even Super Metroid, but like late game Super Nintendo games that were supposed to kind of more fully realize what the console could do. But I think this game is probably the most technically impressive. Just because of the, uh, not only the, the implementation of pre-rendered stuff, but the runtime of the game is real impressive. Lots of cool characters. The, the sound sounds quite a bit better than what usually hits with the uh, SNES games. I wonder if it had custom sound hardware in it too. How many thoughts on Jenna Marbles quitting YouTube? No, I never really followed that. Um, and I'm not like as as for as much time as I put on YouTube, I don't I never watched a lot of YouTube, so I'm not super familiar with Jenna Marbles or her content in the first place. So I can't I don't have much of an opinion. I can always just uh, there's always the safe like I hope everyone's doing the right thing and making decisions that are best for themselves kind of deal. I one of those once Paper Mario to go turn-based like the original. Oops, I have, uh, no, you're not. I, I want that too. Um, it looks like it's closer, uh, in the, in the new one, Origami. It is turn-based, right? Pretty sure it's turn-based. Oh, she needs a break? Okay. Let her take a break. Breaks are important. Oh, thank you, Coconut King. Hell yeah. What's up, Pop-Tart? Welcome. Playing Happy Game? She doesn't know if it's gonna be forever or not. That sounds like a good way to do it. Just give yourself some time. See how it changes how you feel.
What do you think about Pokemon Unite? Oh, I haven't... I haven't looked up anything about it. Because on premise, I don't... I don't really... care. Do you need to share today? Maybe? Probably not? I'm, I'm probably just not gonna do it this week. I apologize. But, uh, I'm just feeling video games right now. Feeling them, feeling them a lot. But I, I reserve the right to spontaneously change my mind, so pfft, I don't know. I'm enjoying being spontaneous. Give me my items. Yes! Oh yeah, flower tabs. They increase your magic. I like your flower, your FP. Oh, that's right, because the entire party draws from the same pool of, like, mana. That's weird. You would, I would think that that would have been an issue at some point, but it kind of wasn't. Had an absolute banger to submit. Please, please hold on to it. Ah, uh, but yes. I need to, need to play my video games. Do you have a certain schedule, or do you just play whatever, whenever? Morgie, yeah, I do kind of have a schedule. Um, if you use the schedule command, it will show you. Um, it'll it'll show you a link for a public Google Calendar where I try to enter all my stream times. I will also look into and start using the Twitch schedule because Twitch has a schedule feature. Uh, I guess on people's channels, it'll list out when they're going to stream and what they're going to stream, so... There were... I have been a little unstructured lately. I had kind of a, a big project that kind of dropped in my lap and pushed everything out for a little bit, but, um... I will be getting back to normal, which is to say streaming back on a normal schedule for, uh, basically now. Now that Dr. Disrespect is gone, how does it feel to be the King Gamer? I... I don't know what happens. I haven't looked into anything yet. I've been, I've been doing work stuff all morning, and then I just wanted to play video games, so... I am ignorant of fresh drama. NDA sign project, yeah. Yep, a project that... It exists. It's out there. Crown is in the mail? Yeah. Oh, no one knows? Oh, okay, it's a big mystery? Oh, it, are you sure it's not a PR stunt? It, uh, because it might be that that would be that would be his brand, right? Maybe I was Dr. Disrespect all along. It's Twitch Permaban. I don't. I don't. Well, I, I guess Twitch did say they were going to investigate people. But, um, yeah, this would be a bad time to pull a stunt like that, so this would be a very bad time. But, eh, probably not. Yeah, maybe the real Dr. Disrespect were the headshots we got on the way. Look at this big fella. Look at this large, this wide chungus. He's so, he's so bad his mom made him put on a helmet. Don't mess with me. I got a soft skull. Oh, three DMCA's the three time. Oh, like maybe back in his his channel history, was he playing music? That sounds like something that uh, people would work out. You hear the record scratches in this song? And and orchestra hits. that big percussion in there? Oh, man. Those are solid beats. Cool, man. It's actually, it's wild hearing it like this with like a really good pair of headphones coming like direct off the very real Super Nintendo. Discord has a theory he killed the second coming of Christ. Oh, like aced him in a, aced him in the gulag? <laughs> Son of Christ came back, but man did not believe, for they aced his ass in the gulag. Uh, Reese, thank you for the prime sub. Gamer McGee, thanks for the prime. Papa Jesus Christ, you're back! Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, Shiomura, Shiomura composed this? She composed Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah! I was just thinking how, how weirdly crossover this is, like Kingdom Hearts. It's like what Kingdom Hearts was to Disney, that's what this is for N Nintendo Universe. It's very, very strange, but awesome.
Oh, he bopped me. Hey, give me a boop. What's up, Axial Mike? Welcome. Those drum rolls! God, that's so good. This is when, like... Well, I guess I guess there were some good compositions on NES from, like, Konami and stuff, but... I feel like this is when, uh... Uh, composers for games finally started getting the tools they needed to put together some cool shit. Oh! I gotta heal. No, I don't. I'm not afraid of you. Uh oh uh oh I gotta go way earlier. Okay, now I'm afraid of you. I remember, um... I remember always being confused, like, if you could do the button timing after everything. So, if... This is gonna be great, because now I can ask, like, questions that I've been suspicious about my entire life about this game. Because I'm sure someone in chat is an expert. Um, that di I didn't mean that derisively. Um, it's mostly because people were saying that they they know all about this game. So, is there a uh, button activated thing for every action? Can you like can you button enhance an item? Can you button enhance like you can button enhance most defenses, I think. But some it's just see I never knew what the timing were. You played this one before? I did. I did when I was a teenager. So I haven't played through the whole thing ever since it came out the first time. Leave anything outside of a magic spell type of attack, you can block anything. Okay. Not items, but spells and attacks. Okay. But not items. Item is right at the end and it gives you a freebie. I thought that was a random chance, Tinglenator. Is it timing based? I'm trying to decide between RE3, RE2, Evil Within, and Evil Within 2. RE2 and 3, I think, are just like solid, solid games. Um, three short. That is multiplayer. I haven't even tried it yet, though. I want to. Evil Within 1 plays like an older survival horror. Evil Within 2 is very cool. But I think out of all those, Resident Evil 2 is the highest quality, longest, best game. For sure. Yeah, Sponge Blake, how you liking that? You getting into Doom Eternal? Yeah, Evil Within 2 was so good. I was bummed. Like, no one cared about it when it came out. They tried so hard in that game. And like, they, boy, they, there's something about, uh, just the raw dedication to lore some of those games have. Yes. Oh, I also, um, forgot to update this. My, uh, my G Fuel code is 30% off now. So if you want those hot savings and big discounts and sick, sick prizes, the prize being energy. For me, the prize is appetite suppression, but uh, just bought some. Marg. Well, thank you for doing that. Uh, let's see here. Seems the Dr. Disrespect name was a permaban from Polygon article. The switch response, as is our process to take appropriate action, we have evidence the streamers acted in violation of our community gu guidelines or terms of service. It's played all streamers regardless of status or prominence in the community. Gotcha. Okay, so they... He got dinged about something we'll never, we'll never know about. Okay, you can kind of see the tiling here. That's interesting. They get a lot of mileage out of that texture. But you can still see the squares. I don't know. It, it's weird how, like, this... The texture set here looks like video artifact compression now. Like, it's almost exactly the same. Like, an overly compressed YouTube video kind of has that blocky-on-blocky blocky look. I guess it's just how they were, uh, encrypting... Or, uh, compressing images back then, too. Maybe it's the birth of that video compression algorithm right there. We're telling you? Huh? Oh, Jesus. He got Jesus. At least he didn't... Well, I guess we tried to stream it, yeah. You can do timing on any of a user's attacks and abilities, whether it's healing, Mallow's scan ability, or even stat boosting abilities. The only thing different is the timing for set abilities. Some require multiple presses, some require holding. Wow, and they just don't tell you that ever, huh? So you can, like, if you use, like, can you use a flower tab in combat and get, like, multiple FP or something like that? What's up, Vader Raid? I'm doing great. The abilities tell you. Really? Ooh. 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, there's that. Do the items tell you? No. So if I used a flower jar in combat, I might be able to find some magic timing to, to get it back. Oh, it's, you're right about the items, it's random. Okay. Good, that's good to know. Because I, I just tapped buttons all the time for everything I did in this game. I'd just be like, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, tap. I'll just tap, 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 tap. And then I could never tell if sometimes I was hitting the timing or if it was just a random chance. That's the kind of thing that, like, makes you slowly go insane over playing an RPG for 60 hours. Also, this music, like, reminds me of the Shinra March from Seven. These interiors with, like, the drapes on the windows and the crude perspective lighting. Yeah! Look at that kid go! You're making Mario very proud, but you can't get this height, though. Boosh, boosh! Yeah, vroom! This game is so great, yeah. I mean, even the layout's similar. There's like three-quarter perspective on houses that have multiple rooms where you can just talk to NPCs while you're like listening to a great boisterous uh, city theme. Man, I remember seeing scans of this in in, in, uh, in magazines. <laughs> she tricked me into jumping. Everyone likes seeing the old Mario jump. Boop. Mario RPG would be cool? It would. I mean, I'm glad they're still making Paper Marios. Aw. Toads get married. Okay. Lore confirmed. Toads recognize the institution of marriage. Look at that. Is there like a little welcome sign? I'm, I'm shocked you can actually read it. Wow. This little item shop with a spinning mushroom. It's all Victorian in England stuff. Why does it look like this? I guess it's a kingdom. Why do they run so fast, these little kids? Oh! Gross. Ew. I guess that makes sense. I think they're just trying to... They're trying to hitch their family's wagon to the old Mario train. Sticker Star was garbage. Yeah, Sticker Star was not good. It was weird. Nintendo usually doesn't put, put out games that have that severe gameplay flaws. Of just, like, combat being utterly useless. Why even put it in the game? I don't know. I can only assume that Sticker Star was, like, referencing some... Some, like, Japanese hobby that just didn't read for me. Mario, put on a shirt. My god. Good lord. Oh. I imagine Mario with just one shirt and nothing else. Don't remember the last time you played a Mario game? I mean, Odyssey is... Odyssey is fun. Odyssey is good. I like Odyssey quite a lot. That's right, I want to stream Odyssey, but, uh... Both Mario Odyssey and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hey! But, uh, my Switch is dead right now. I gotta wait for the uh, replacement battery to get here and hope that that fixes it. Maybe... Yeah, maybe if that doesn't work, I'll, I will just go full-on nerd mode and try to solder chips off the board. Screw it. Let's see what happens. No thanks. I'm saving my money. But yeah, also, just like, this is Super Final Fantasy, having little pre-rendered two or three frame animations to make the world look like it's more alive and moving and... Seven did it a lot with, like, light glows. Um... And, f and light flickers. Also, I think it's really adorable when sleeping people are depicted having one giant bubble coming out their nose. It doesn't really happen anymore, does it? Secret chest in the shop? Didn't I get that? Hold your switch. It's a launch switch, so it's it's up there, and it's been it's been used a lot. It's been it's been played down and charged up quite a bit. So 
I could see the battery being dead. I could very much see that. You haven't tried initializing it and updating it yet, or you can't? Um, I updated it fairly, fairly recently. Um, and it's, it's not turning on anymore again. So, I did play 7 Remake, yeah. If you're, if you're asking me. I grounded out over a couple of days. It was a very rare event for my stream. From the guy who hasn't yet finished Last of Us 2. This is cool though, these like light shafts. They're painted on the wall, so it's like Mario can't be behind them, obviously, so the effect largely works, and if you note they like they cut off before you're likely to walk there. That's exactly how long they are. So you'd have to like scrape the wall to see it not really work. Smart. Do you do a hard reset? Oh on my switch? Yeah, I held the power button down for 12 seconds and I held it again and it just won't boot up. Um it did once. It did boot up once, and then I plugged it into charge, it locked up, and uh, and since then it hasn't been able to boot again. But that's the behavior I'm used to seeing when it's when it's acting weird. But yes, this art sells so good. Look at this bed! And the fire crackling. Everything's like... Everything has that very early CG lighting of it's like light or shadow, but at least we got shadows. But they're not shaded at all, they're like not rounded. Um, it does, it does create a very charming sort of, uh, dollhouse sort of look. Man, it's great. You bounce on beds? Oh. Nice. That's, uh, that, to me, that's always one of the most pure things in a game, when a game has an element of interactivity just because they figured people might do it. So it's like, people are gonna jump on the bed! Make them bounce on the bed! They'll have fun! I don't know why they sound like that, but... Those columns look pretty cool. Hey, Zach. How you doing? Oh. But also, like... A castle that has side rooms that you can just go and talk to people in that don't do anything? That's also a very Final Fantasy thing. Of just having rooms full of NPCs to try and make it seem like a living world. But it's Mario, like, uh... Also, the Peach's Castle is a little freakier than this, as we learned in, uh, 64. So, but again, this is the first time we're getting any kind of, like, consistency or lore. Hmm. You just got back from College Station? Man. I did New Year's there once. So, I had a good time, but I was also very drunk. And I went to an IHOP, so... I played Chrono Trigger. Yes! Uh... I played it a little late on a really early Super Nintendo emulator. So I don't I didn't have the purest first experience with it. I really love the music, but I don't get why people like the rest of that game. Then again, I didn't really play it at the right time in the right way. So I, I need to play it again. Yeah, Cinemaniac, it is. It is. I I if I tell Nintendo not to get mad at me, they won't get mad at me. That's how it works. I remember the story just, like, it started off pretty strong, and then it just became some, like, anime drama mess. You Chrono Cross or Trigger Man? I'm kind of a Chrono Cross man, because the soundtrack in Cross is the best. Like, top ten all-time video game soundtracks, I would say. The above link console to maintenance mode. It's just trying the hard resets and plugging console directly into a wall plug-in. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. Um, but I did patch it in the last week, so I'm pretty sure it's... It's up to date. Um, I will do that. Thank you! It's gonna be an, a challenge to try to find an empty wall plug, but I can do it. Oh yeah. This game also... There's a lot of sequences of pantomime storytelling because... In the rules of this game, Mario doesn't talk, but he's an... Everyone knows who he is because he jumps real high. Like, these are actually the, the rules of the world and they're, they're like running gags that get hit over and over. Everyone knows who he is because he can jump real high. And he's also fantastically good at telling complicated stories via pantomime. Uh, so it's like, this is the storytelling music as he's... And also consider that, like, that's a pretty ballsy decision to have a character that has to pantomime everything in a game where you have virtually no space for storage and, and sprites.
Like retelling the beginning of the game. Even the same animations. It's so good! People like Chrono Cross because it doesn't involve the same plot elements as Trigger. Well, Trigger was just like some weird... Some weird royal drama stuff at its core, right? And then Lavos. That was it. It was like all this stuff with, um... Shala slash Magus. Magus? I never really learned how to say his name. It's just all that stuff. And now also Lavos is here. So go fight Lavos. So, eh. Cr Cross was way more like... Like Mindfuck 2000s anime. Which I appreciated about it. Like... It, it's pretentious. Chrono Cross is. Time travel, yeah. The time travel part, I feel like kind of like Final Fantasy VII, where I feel like the strongest thing people remember is just Midgar. I feel the same about Chrono Trigger. It's like they remember the music and they remember time traveling. But not the last half of the game, where it's just weird anime drama and... I guess the different endings is really cool. The, like, extended ending where you can get Chrono alive and... Sorry, spoilers. There's a robot. Yeah, and it's got... <laughs> Uh, good pat pratfall. I mean, it's got Toriyama's art, and that's that's pretty expressive and memorable. I feel like it's got a lot of good factors, but they're all kind of weird and jumbled and disconnected. Yeah, I feel like most people just remember the first half. Once you get into, like, that floating city with the... I can't remember the name of all the stuff. Th these are very foggy memories, but I remember once I got to the floating city thing, the magic city, then I was like... I don't know what's going on anymore. Zeal, thank you. Yep, that's it. Like, this is no longer about time time hopping and, and trying to beat an alien. It's now about some weird drama stuff. You ever see the anime cutscenes from the dude's, or, uh, DS version? They said Dude Soup version. Uh, yes. I actually have those in my real, or my, like, MediaTek bulk somewhere. Do all these toads say something unique? Alright, well, I'll go find the princess. Maybe I can go... Potential Chrono Trigger stream? Yeah, I wanted to do the Chrono... Chrono series. There's gotta be a translation for Radical Dreamers too, right? I feel like that's another thing that is kinda... kinda complicated is... In Japan, they had a weird visual novel game to sort of bridge the gap. Or at least, I guess, introduce different concepts. Um, about the, uh... The world and the characters and all that stuff. Cause yeah, Chrono Cross is out there. It, it's only barely connected to Chrono Trigger, like, way at the end. <sighs> yeah, I mean, going back to, like, classic RPGs, I, I have my copy of Chrono Cross right over there. And a PS3 to play it on. It's all ready to go. Tell me. Tutorialize me. Yeah, playing the Chrono games would be cool. It's been a long time since I've played those. Alright. Most modern games kind of lose that audio charm. I've wondered a lot about that, because there's plenty of good music in games. I just feel like there's something about the fact that it's not looped. Like, we've been li I've been listening to this this song ever since I got to this, uh, this city, with the exception of the storytelling sequence, so it's looped so much. I feel like, I feel like to some degree, newer games have quality tracks, but they come and go so quickly you don't... They don't get drilled into your head, because you're not listening to them on loop for an 80-hour game. Teeny Tuna, have a good day at work. Demon, thanks for the Prime sub. Temporal Enigma, sick name, thank you for the Prime sub. Nero and Reese, thank you guys for the Primes. All the Mother games back-to-back. -back. I played Mother 1 and 2 on stream. Aw, he's sad. Making it, making it rain. Although it looks like the getting rained on layer is under the Mario layer. Two out of two out of ten game. He's got uh, that girl from Men in Black 2's power. Or I guess it's the other way around. This came out first. I do remember as a lad. Thinking it was pretty cool that they introduced Mallow as, like, kind of being... Like, they introduced him as a crybaby, but he's not really that. You know what? I was thinking the other... Or I had I had postulated that Vivi might be the first, like, really self-conscious 
an anxious character in a JRPG, but it might be Mallow. Maybe Edward from Final Fantasy IV? Oh, yeah, I gotta give him the jump. Chicks love the jump. You got more jump in you than a box of frogs! <laughs> he can't jump. Aww. I never really understood. Was there ever a... Yeah. The young frog Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Like... I remember, okay, at least the game acknowledged it. Like, that that's a level of self-awareness and dry writing that didn't really exist in console games. Edward was a loving guy before the start of 4, but he saw his loved ones die in front of him. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, he wasn't, uh... I, I guess... I guess the only thing I read from Edward is he was a character who wasn't, like, a, a resolute stalwart hero, which is all you really got in games. Even, especially, like, fantasy games. Just... Guy with sword, damsel who needs saving. And if there's a wiener guy like Edward, he dies <laughs> pretty fast. Like, look at this pantomime. They they find found a way to get a get away with so much humor and like storytelling just by clever use of sprites. Didn't realize how anime it is. Like all the. Uh, all the reactions. You got some of that in six. You got some of the like the the finger waving, the laughing. Like there were there was some pacing to it, but I feel like they have even more expressive sprites to play with in this. The parallel in something like Final Fantasy VII would be all the character animations. Cloud like putting his hands on his hips or waving his arm. Exact same thing. Put used in exactly the same way too. Cecil rejecting his darkness by not fighting and then immediately going back to fighting. <laughs> The first video, the first JRPG soft boy. Frog Fuchsius told me. Frog Fuchsius. What? Oh man. Oh Mallow, got his stupid coin stolen, so he can't buy his papa's medicine. Oh, that's a revive, I think. Mario has the same powers as Courage the Cowardly Dog. Holy shit, you're right. Holy shit. Now that's the video game take of the day, I think. Ah, I can buy pants for my boy Mallow. Good. Square Enix originally Square Square then went to Square Soft after the merger with Enix became Square Enix. Yeah. Yeah, the Enix side of it seemed to kind of go go quiet after that. It seemed like Square sort of took over, which I thought was weird. A lot of Enix properties. They still do Dragon's Quest, but like what else what else from the Enix catalog is even alive anymore? I played Xenogears way back when it came out, so I remember really liking the battle system, but I don't remember much else about it. Uh, at the risk of getting banned or worse, shunned, could someone explain why I should care about Cyberpunk 77? Looks stunning from a visual standpoint. I don't know anything else about it. Don't really understand the hype. Um, it's like GTA, except with RPG stats. I don't know if that appeals to you or not. GTA with RPG stats and the story missions, you can do a, a ton of different ways. I think it's probably the way to summarize it. People didn't like Star Ocean 5, but I didn't mind. That's true. Yeah. Xeno's anime as fuck. Oh, Xeno... Yeah, Xeno Gears. Oh, it sure is. That was also that that sort of like late 90s, early 2000s mind fuck. I feel like Xeno Gears and... Uh, ooh. Thank you. Ooh. All right, got the mail. You know what I'm yeah, I felt like Evangelion. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, super similar vibes for sure. I remember thinking the same thing back then. I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint if I was like, this is like Evangelion, just because Evangelion was the first show I saw like that, or if it actually was 
similar. And yeah, also Xenogears, Xenogears loses its mind by the end. Kind of, a, kind of similar to Chrono Cross. There was a rash of games back then who, like, I guess getting really heady and philosophical in your animes was fashionable for a minute, because man, everyone did it. Yeah, that little dino's cute. What the heck is this? Like a giant... Giant alligator man with like a busted eye? And you know, he's trouble. When are you supposed to like, how do you know if you've done that? Oh, you can read it, that's right. Wow, oh, that hurts. Let's see what he's got. What you got, my mans? At Y just before the bolt ends. Okay. That could mean that could pretty mean pretty much anything, I feel like, but uh, I will I will experiment with that timing. That's the other thing is how do you know specifically when you've uh, when you've hit the timing or not? I think it's like a, it's a second flash. Cool. Does that only last for the round? One of the lead guys on AVE explained that the religious imagery in the show is purely because it looks cool. I'd buy it. I think there's a lot of things, a lot of things that, like, Japanese creative output seems to be totally okay with including something just for the hell of it. Like, it doesn't have to mean anything, even if it seems like it might. You get why right after the sound effect ends, okay. World in GTA 5 lacks a lot of depth. Interesting. This is this is not this is not meant to be an attacking uh, question, but I am curious. What uh, what would you consider? What am I trying to say here? How how does a world have depth for you? It's a tough thing to tough thing to uh, to like define. Oh, the satire was pretty one-note? It kind of was, yeah. It was fun for a while, but yeah, I, like on your 80th hour, you're like, okay, yes, Americans love guns. <laughs> Subnautica has a world with a lot of depth. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting comparison. Sound design is super important in GTA. is very specific for that. Rockstar is like a dream studio for sound engineers. Yes. I'll say that, Reese. Um, I finally played through all GTA V, and the biggest thing that blew me away was just standing in various environments with my headphones on. Just listening to the, uh... Just listening to the, um... Just the ambient audio at various points in the city, but that, yes. Excellent pun. Hats off to you, sir. Was it the extra pop at the end means you got it? Time for defenses right before the I got hit animation. Yeah, I think I slowly figured that out. Mostly because, like, they play with that timing, too. Of, like, the ball hits you and then it separates into little sprinkles and then you get hit. I feel like that's them sort of making it a little easy or making it a little more difficult. Oh, Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the jungle sound design is very good. I need to get back to that game. Shadow of the Tomb Raider? I love the entire Tomb Raider series, but I just never, never finished Shadow. It seemed like it was, gameplay-wise, the best out of all of them so far. I realize also... The way they have it, with like, your characters in a Like, it's, it's basically Final Fantasy, except the camera perspective is different. No wonder I like this game so much. It is exactly like the games that I like. It's weird how that works out sometimes. Oh, I can't get that coin anymore. I remember about the new Tomb Raider was the torture porn death scenes. There was so much more to those games than that, but yeah, that is that tends to be the loudest part of it, doesn't it? It was the most striking, which is which is a shame. 
There's a lot more going on in those games than just Laura, Lara Croft getting brutalized. Oh shit! It is in fact 420. I'm excited for the new Animal Crossing update? I really want to be, but I'm terrified. If my Switch is busted, I lose my town. My, uh, my museum was, was just coming together. Ooh, that was close. There's an bo optional boss later that's just a straight FF boss sprite. Yeah, Kulex. I, um, I got to that fight before I even knew who that was. I didn't play Final Fantasy IV before that. Um, so it was weird doing that fight because it had amazing music. Actually, wait. Can I metagame this? I was the seat of leveling. Wait. One? Okay. Let's save those mushrooms. That was a cool boss fight, though. I always liked, uh... I always liked it when games had just a super, a super optional, totally hard, very last, uh... Like, just had an end game. Not every game had that back in the day. I'm gonna get you, alligator. You give me my coin back. Give it back. Oh, hey, what's up, Solo Samurai? You bring back Dr. Shrunk to Animal Crossing? I'm not familiar with Dr. Shrunk. What's up, Deucin Man? Yeah. Hold on a second. Uh, if you go back to the last screen and jump on the spinning flower, you can get a good early game healing item. I will do that. Oh man, Dragon's Dogma? Crap, I need to play that game. How's the diet going? Pretty good, man. I'm on, I'm on day six and I'm feeling alright. I've gotten a lot better at cooking vegetables. Um, so I used to get emotes in New Leaf. Oh, you bought him a fruit and he would tell you a joke? Oh, I didn't play New Leaf enough to even get that. Or to even understand that. I was praised the original Xenoblade Chronicles. Personally, I think it is just that good. It has a great soundtrack and everything about it is well done. I remember, I remember really, really, really liking liking it uh, when I played it back on the Wii. So with this one, aha! Are you able to cook all your veggies in any oil or anything? No, you're supposed to use cooking spray, which uh, is actually really good. Like it's it's super convenient, um, and it works just about as well as oil. It's got the same, it like, has the same properties of evening out cook time, and almost has that, like, f like fatty mouthfeel a little bit. Um, but I've been using, yeah, I've been using spray, uh, cooking spray, and garlic, salt and pepper, and chili flakes to uh, roast a lot of veggies. Oh! Um, I finally, I've started the campaign. I was able to post on Insta this morning, so... If you guys are curious... Um, yes, JV, I'm glad it made you laugh. Uh, if you use the diet command, you can, you'll get my, uh promo code. It's not technically for Twitch, it's technically for Instagram. Instagram? Instagram. But, uh, I don't know, if you guys are interested in Nutrisystem, uh, check it out. That said, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a wild week so far. Um, I, I think I'm over, I think I'm over a bit of a hump. Cooking spray is oil? Yeah, just quarter spray supposedly has less than five calories, so the nutrition level could say zero. Yeah, I, I know it's not no calories, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's negligible enough to not offset a diet, basically. And it's super, super convenient to use. I have this, um, what I've been doing is, I have this, like, cookie sheet that fits in my toaster oven. And I'll be, I'll, I'll basically, like, uh, spray the sheet down, put my veggies on it, put garlic, salt, pepper, or, like, cut them up if I have to, if I have to, like, cut florets off of a cauliflower head. And then spray the top of that, just real quick, zap, 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 little zippy zap, zap. And then I mix it all up with my hands, and I throw it into the toaster oven. And then I have like two servings of vegetables, and it only takes like... It's only like four or five minutes of prep. Like chopping garlic is what takes the longest, and it doesn't really take that long. I got, uh... I got shelled garlic cloves. Because those exist, and they're wonderful. So, my prep time is, is so... So little now. 
Veggies equal gains, yeah. Oh, here's a cooking stream coming soon. I'll probably make a an Instagram video about it. Again, like, technically the sponsorship's on Instagram, but I'm 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 betting that like if I can drive enough traffic to the link that they'll be happy with it. Who knows? Uh we'll see. But yeah, this I'm feeling alright. Uh I feel hungry right now. But I think I've also learned that like here's the big and I think I'm gonna write a newsletter about this actually, but for me, here's the big realization. Learning how to cook vegetables is super important, and I feel really good that I've, I'm acquiring that skill. But the big thing I think I've learned about myself and just about hunger in general is that I... Hunger... I always thought hunger was like a linear growth of a feeling. Of like, you... If I'm hungry now and an hour later I'm twice as hungry, then an hour after that I'll be three times as hungry. So that was my thinking. And then when I would feel a hunger pang, I would not only feel it in the moment, but I would also stress out about feeling that way forever. Or it getting even worse. And that's when I would start to think like, well, this is, like, obviously this is not sustainable. What I've learned is that I can feel that way in the moment and realize that it's not really that bad in the moment. And as long as I don't dwell on the future, then I won't freak out and, like, try to make decisions based on what I think I'll feel like in the future, if that makes any sense. And what I've learned is, like, that hunger doesn't actually, like, just keep ramping up. Um, for, for me, it's, like, it's kind of balanced out at a certain level of hunger. And I'll go from, like, being hungry, like, now. I can actually probably eat something. Maybe some more vegetables, but... Uh, to, like, to not being hungry at all anymore. Uh, it's actually nice. Last night I fell asleep and I didn't feel any hunger pains. Or maybe just, like... Maybe just a teensy little bit. But, uh, it actually felt pretty normal last night for the first time. Have you looked into inter intermittent fasting? Um, uh, I tried it once, but I, it, I wasn't in a place where I could be that structured about it. Like, uh, that was when I was working at Rooster Teeth, and I was trying it, but... It just wasn't working because of the... What's the word? The volatility of my work schedule. So... Caramelized onions and baby Brussels sprouts. Ah, I'm on Brussels sprouts. For me, the big winner so far that I'm getting really good at cooking or have roasted really well. Carrots, uh, mushrooms, uh, baby bella mushrooms, uh, spinach. I tried a batch of kale. It's okay. I think there's only so much you can do with kale without introducing calories. Uh, I've been working out more and realized that even though I wasn't feeling hungry, I was malnourishing myself, and that's why my evenings after work... They sucked so much. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Brennan, thank you for the, the Prime sub. Gamer McGee, thanks for the cheer. Uh, also made- I made a, uh, amazing batch of sugar snap peas. Like, they- they had the sweetness, they had the crunch, they had the saltiness, they had the garlic. I think so far the sugar snap peas are probably the best thing I've made with- Mushrooms number two, spinach number three, uh, carrots number four. The good news is, though, that I'm I'm figuring out how to how to prepare vegetables in a way that I can eat and actually enjoy eating and like it's sustainable. Um, so it's good. It's good. I think it's getting where it needs to go. Uh, cucumber with miso. Oh no, that's interesting. Oh, also like sliced tomato with just salt and pepper. Uh, same thing happens to me when I do my sleep deprivation willpower test. Somewhere around hour 36 hours in, I get a second wind and I have a ton of energy suddenly. Fine if I just resist the urge to sleep for like 20 minutes or so, I can get on with it. Also, don't do this, it's not healthy. Yeah, I I have to be careful about that because I don't want to like... I don't want to give people techniques to undereat. But that's kind of what I'm doing for myself and I'm developing those techniques. So, uh, I think it's also just... It was the it was the right mixture of, of challenging myself and the the subtle assurance that if there's a if there's a plan and a program for it that it must not be damaging to my body. Uh, but no, it's been good. Um, it's been a journey though, and it it has sort of changed to the nature of how I eat, what I eat, and how I think about it when I eat it. Because uh, there are like. 100 calorie dessert things in Nutrisystem. They try to load them up with fiber and protein to make sure that they're not nutritionally devoid, but last night I had like a 100 calorie carrot cake thing that I've stuck in the microwave, and it was awesome. It, uh, it made me sore for a little bit. I guess that's the other thing is like being okay with 
being okay with a shorter eating experience of like savoring the three tastes you get of something versus the 16 tastes you get otherwise. Oh, I meant my sleep thing. I support the diet 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, I, I just meant to say that like your concern I echoed because I don't want to make it ever seem like I'm giving a... Uh, I'm telling, I'm giving people the tips they need to, to, to not eat. Uh, we came as ducks. Hey, welcome. Interesting game to play. Yeah, it, it just occurred to me I wanted to play it. I don't know. It's a very happy game. Uh, I'm kind of in the mood for that lately. I love the 16 times of flavor, yeah. Cine gang? What is that? I could never, could never enjoy these diet sweets. Oh. Like sh uh, fake sugar stuff? Uh, the other, the other top tip is just caffeine, man. Just... Staying caffed up during the day. I think that's, that's burning off a little bit, though. I don't think I need it as much. Um, I'm finding that I'm, I'm less hungry. And also, you know, just getting better at preparing vegetables, so I eat more of them. Let's fill a Filipino dish with bok choy and some meat served over rice. That sounds awesome. It's so bitter and good. Does the bitterness come from the bok choy? This is comfy, man. What makes what makes JRPG so comfy? Oh. Come and get it, assholes. It's Mario time. Look how they swarm in from off screen. pretty sick that they give you experience for that. You gonna take time to get the ultimate weapons? Are there ultimate weapons in Mario RPG? Did I miss mail time? Oh, I haven't done it yet! Crap, you're right! Uh, well, Kappa, since you're here, I can I can go ahead and open yours. Oh! It's a meatless thing? No, there's there's quote-unquote meat in it. Um, it's pretty, it's like pretty processed meatloafs sometimes. It's Nutrisystem, so like the... It does have like freeze-dried and frozen stuff. It all tastes. It all tastes good. It's, you certainly appreciate it a lot more when it's like you need it for the fuel too. Am I allowed to say spoilers for this game? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, it's really old. Uh, okay, let me let me grab let me grab your package. I want to make sure that the people who sent me things are here to see it get open. You know. Uh, you sent the you sent the tea, right? I think. Have you ever 100%ed Mario RPG? I I beat Kulex, and I don't know if that meant that I also got. I don't remember because it was so long ago. Yeah, Danimal, this cyberpunk chair is sweet. Oh, hold on, check this out. Check this out. You guys ready? Are you ready for this? Oh well, I mean, there we go. That's cool as hell. Yes, to, uh, to be 100% uh, clear, 100% clear and transparent to disclose everything. Um, this came virtue of Stephanie, she works at CDPR. She got this chair for working on Cyberpunk because it's part of a branded deal that they have with Secret Lab. And she gave it to me because she has another chair she wants to get that is patterned like an Ames lounger. Um... Um, it's here. Am I missing? Am I missing messages here? Let me check. Correct and a little what? Correct and a little more. Okay, hold on. I have a secret cameo. That's where I get. That's where I get all my. Uh... Also, yeah, Pop Tart, you're around, right? Yes, I saw you in chat earlier. Okay. Well, I'm gonna open this then. It's already out of stock, yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. Turns out, uh, people really like cyberpunk things. Okay. Just make sure that I have, like, I'm all framed up right. Uh, so, thank you for this box. And make sure that I don't show my address, that'd be good. Mm. Oh, it's got peanuts in it. Jovial music. Oh, 
for an opening. Ugh. I got honey, I think. Yes. It's 100% pure, artisan, and raw. Just like me. Cool. I am, uh, I'm given my pro new profound uh, reliance on caffeine. This will be delightful. Ah! Oh, cool! Okay. A tea strainer. Or, uh, like an infuser. I do... This is actually gonna be very, very useful. Um, I have one now, but it's like... It's shaped like a, a Death Star, and it's like a, a clamshell you have to open up. And it's actually not the easiest to work with. Because you can't open it or clean it while it's been sitting in boiling water. So, it, like, it only extends the process. So this is wonderful. Thank you. That will make a brewing tea much, much faster and more convenient. What else we got? Hey, I got all sorts of stuff. Ooh. The Hong Pao. Is this like a... Is this an oolong? I didn't... I didn't mean to say it like that, but I did. Sorry. I intentionally wasn't... I wasn't trying to sound like that. Anyway, please don't cancel me. Um, hold on, I'm gonna smell it. How do I send you stuff? I have... Oh, damn. Ah, uh, that smells cool. I have a, uh, yeah, oh, sorry, Cam. I'm already on sorry, Cam. I have a, uh, address listed on my Twitch account. This is great. Thank you, I'm excited to drink this. That sounds, that seems very, like, hearty. Hearty and earthy. Okay. I think that might be it. I'm gonna keep these peanuts, though. I might need them later. That's what I've been doing. I've been squirreling away packing material ever since I started sending people things. Please don't cancel me. <sighs> uh, Gold Orchard, thanks for the sub. Wub Wubbly, thank you. Flange Moto, thank you. Look at all these. Core Hamber, thanks for the sub. Dreyfus, good to see you, thank you. Gino for Smash, yeah. I gotta remind everyone. Din Yin, yes. There's a lot of cyberpunk stuff back there, so... I will I will play That's So Raven 2 if uh, if you guys don't cancel me. That's the that's the agreement we're gonna come to. Yeah, so that is not all mine, <laughs> Danimal. Um, that is... Stephanie is basically packing up and sending out... Uh, what am I saying? Packing up and sending out packages for influencers and stuff like that. This chair is mine, though. Nah. <laughs> Got Phil of the Future for GBA. Will you not cancel me if I play that? Play Cory in the house? Imagine being convicted of a crime and you have to beat a video game to not go to jail. Thank you for all those gifts, though. I will use that tea infuser today. I'm trying to remember what the gimmick here is. Oh. Got him. I like his- I like his top hat. Oh, can you not run? Where's the funhouse chair gonna go? I don't know. Uh... I offered it to a few- few, like, ex-coworkers and stuff. Nobody seemed to want it, so... Shoot, maybe I'll just do a giveaway on stream again. I'm trying to figure out how to, uh... How to ship it. You guys keep throwing money at me, so I can't- I can't say no. Got him. I was lying! How could he? <laughs> I don't know, does that, does that- does that officially cross the weirdness divide? If I give away something that my ass has been ground into for years? I, it's got- I think it's got a little booty divot in it. I think it's got a little- a little butt valley. Yeah, that's a lot of gamer sweat I'd be giving away. It adds value? I would think so. Oh, I should have looked about when I was supposed to... I don't know what the, uh... I don't know what the timing is on that. Yes, an authentic ass print. Can you believe it? It's 
called a batina? Is it really? I've been waiting for somebody to take take an ass print. Charity stream? Oh man. These are good ideas. Why worry about weird when you're giving away shoes? Hmm, I guess that's a good point. Uh, I guess I feel like there's been... There's been more total contact with my butt. Please jump again, it'll do 33 damage. It did 39. Are you familiar with, like, the damage tables in this game or something? Are you gonna look for a bit? Alright, Kappa. Thank you thank you again for the, the kind kind gift. Oh, yes. Pop Tart, I'm glad you're here. Hold on a second. Shoes are way weirder than a chair? Really? What are you supposed to do with shoes then? What do you do with them? Do you do you just throw them away? Uh, here, let me open your package. I will open this. Fart miles. Oh, when you hit jump it always increases by one. Oh! It's so like every time you use the spit, every time you use the uh, skill, it does one more damage. I did not know that. That's a weird thing. All right. Make sure that I'm not messing anything up here. All right. Ah. This is wonderful, thank you. <laughs> it's the three wolf Lawrence. <laughs> With the uh the best character from Senran Kagura. That is beautiful. Thank you. There's something for Steph too, you said? Oh I see. Alright. Got her a uh, chunkity pug. That's really cute. Thank you. I'm sure she will love it. And who wouldn't love who wouldn't love those big old boobs? Yep, there were four Lawrences. That's wonderful. Thank you. Let me put this back in the envelope so I don't mess anything up. And a letter? Yes, I will. I will read the letter later. I did not. I did not misplace the letter though. So. Thank you! Yeah, that is some A-plus anime titty, though. No, no foolin'. Oh, let me... Thank you so much! I'm excited to see Steph's reaction. I'm gonna beat up this alligator. Sorry, it's all fangirly. No, it's okay! It's, uh, it's wonderful. Nobody else gets that. Okay, yeah, it was... It was another one. Where do you usually hang people's fan art? Well, a lot of it was just back at the Funhouse office, so there's no real place here for it that we have set up, but we might have to, uh, might have to start dedicating a space. I need to... I need to have a wing. I need to have a whole wing of the house that I lock up and I pull a fan art, fan art in, so like 30 years from now, when everything goes so wrong, I can get really drunk and wander around there at night alone in the dark and people can get concerned for me ow uh when are you playing jedi outcast uh sometime i am probably gonna play that game yeah the fan art gallery Ooh. yeah see i didn't i didn't hit any button there i played the minecraft nether update no i haven't played minecraft ever <laughs> so not that I dislike the game, it's just, I don't know, not really for me. Yeah, when are we going to see Power Battles? Probably more today. I started it over, uh, I started it over yesterday. I got to, uh, the, the Palace level, level 4. So, I just got to do that, and then level 5, and then I'm back on track. <laughs> Should have used uh, 
Should use Mallow for that, I think. Should pick up Injustice for free? I already own it. Somewhere. Was it on PC or something? 24 hour Minecraft dungeon stream when? Pretty soon. Gonna get Microsoft on the horn. Have them, uh... Have them sponsor some stuff. Let's get some G Fuel Minecraft action on the stream, goddammit. I, uh... No, uh, Minecraft Dungeon seemed like it was a pretty cool game. And I, I really like those kinds of games. Oh, got him. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again! Got him. Frog coin. Retrieved. It's very Diablo-like. I like Diablo. It's funny, I've been getting that vibe out of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That game feels super Diablo. I mean, it's just like Titan Quest, except the camera's down. Do you think 2077 will have dark, noir, and melancholy tones to akin to Blade Runner, or do you think it'll mostly be a zany 80s wild style cyberpunk, or more likely a mix? I mean, tone is hard to comment on. Uh, I haven't... I don't think I've seen enough to say for sure. Like I, I've just seen, I've seen bits and pieces from what Steph has has seen from the fact that she was monitoring people's gameplay previews and stuff. But uh, I don't know that I can I can even talk to the game's like feeling or the vibe. I'd say a mix even the scene later really point five. That's I yeah that's where I want it. That's what I want to see too. But it's also like the safest thing to say. How about a little bit of both? Um, I do think mix though. I think it'll be equal parts like this. I'm getting I'm something something's giving me like a bit of a GTA vibe to it, where it's like it might be serious, but it's also going to be pretty wacky sometimes. Mal got his wallet back. That's a kid's game, so of course it isn't as in depth as Diablo. I would argue Diablo is not really that in depth. Diablo three. I guess, I guess there's depth to, like, the skill in the rune system. There's some depth there, but as a game, man, you can pretty much just walk through it. Vash, thank you for Prime subbing. Appreciate that. Wolf, Wolfman and KRW, thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's good scratching. That's good scratching. Jesse Cox's announcement about him being in the game and he doesn't have pants <laughs> points to the zany GTA. Yeah, that may also be like, uh, that may be what they do for influencers, you know? If you're a wacky, goofy influencer, they give you a wacky, goofy character. Seems CDR knows how to be serious, but also how to have fun. Yeah, for as, for as like, grim dark as, um, as Witcher 3 can be, it also, it also can be kind of tender and, and heartfelt sometimes. So, I, I guess it's, it's weird to think about what that might mean in, in Cyberpunk 2077, but... This track is so good. Impressed by this jumping? I can jump better, alright? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this dude show me up in front of this toad. Uh-uh. Mario's the only pogo in this town. I hope it isn't depressing dystopia all the time. I do too. And I do think I do think you can read into Witcher 3 and see that they know how to they know how to have depressing dystopia there, but not dominate everything? Like, Witcher 3... Oh, he was also... Yeah, I guess Jesse Cox was in there, too. Uh... Oh. She still really likes that joke, huh? Get my flower points back. Why would you wear... Why would you wear pants when you can mod your own genitals to be magnificent? Hell yeah. Cyberware. Cyber underwear? What? Win big cash? I guess they did wake up, alright. As long as it's not near automata levels depressing. It doesn't seem like it. But, you know, we'll see. Oh, is that dude playing Game Boy? Look at this cool kid. Hey! Oh. Like that vibrating. Bzzz. 
This music is, is pretty great. I want the game to have cyber dongs capable of crushing walls. I want that for you too. Oh, because the guy outside is bang is like bouncing off the wall. <laughs> That's so cute. I wonder if I if I kill him, does it stop? You can play his Game Boy later in the game. Really? This game is this game is blessed. Let's see. Whoa! Interactivity! I beat the enemy and then the banging stopped! Whoa! Who needs. Games were done! Games were done! We did it! All the games are done! Yeah. The game really changes in tone when Mario unlocks the <laughs> white phosphorus grenade ability. Full immersion achieved? Hell yeah. I am immersed, baby. Never been so immersed. The game oozes with love, if you'll pardon the expression. I think I could pardon it. Officially pardoned. No, it's my wallet. <laughs> You're as bad as he is. No way, Jose. Alright. Oh yeah, I need to use do I need to use tabs in battle? I forgot to do that. Aw, oh, they're scared. Is there an item up here? No. This house sucks. Peak art, yeah. I don't know that uh, there's ever been more art than this. Oh, you can't use tabs in battle, okay. Oh, well, they got me. Got me good. I thought I'd I thought I'd gamed the system. Thought it was done. Yeah. What do toads eat? I don't know that I've seen a toad eat. I mean, if they're mushrooms, they would just, like, suck nutrients out of the ground, right? Yeah. That's what you get for being a good a good Mario. People give you shit. Toads eat ass. Toads eat each other. These are all... These are all valid ideas. Oh. Chicken fries. Thanks for the sub. I never actually got chicken fries. That was a culinary experience that I have yet to take. I gotta admit, I am I am a pretty big fan of like blended and processed chicken loaf. So, oh look at this chicken fries! Thank you for gifting five subs. Clearly, I was missing out. Chicken fries, chicken fries belong in my life. Chicken fries are just chicken fingers on a diet. Makes sense. Cushion just goes. I like it. I feel like this is the first, like, this really was the first era where we got some decent percussion and drum loops in games. Oh, he's so scared. He needs me, big strong Mario, to deploy every foot and a half of muscle that I have. You think Cyberpunk will let me be the Bi King I've always been in real life? I need that to be a thing. We have so little by men in games. I have to imagine that's the case, but I have no idea. It's it's possible it's not a feature, but... To me, everything about the game implies that 2077 is beyond quaint ideas like heterosexuality. It, it just reads that that's just not an issue there. Um, so it's like, in a weird way, to me, it would be politics and games if it wasn't in the game, because that's... Like, uh, transhumanism is is a cultural phenomenon in the world of cyberpunk, so it's like, to get hung up on that would be very, very strange. It's 
straight people in my video games? Well, not in Cyberpunk, man. I've been burned on this shit before. I, I, yeah, well, like, I mean, Mass Effect, you got to... You got to bone down on Freddy Prince at the end. Vega? He was a wide boy. But, I see, I know what you mean. It's hard for me to imagine that that would... It, se it seems like Odyssey is the new way to do it. Just let everyone bone everyone. That's what people want. They just want to bone whatever they see, so just let them do it. Just let them do it. Headache Boy Caden? That, well... Could you... You could get Caden in, in Mass Effect 1? Oh, that was in 3. That's right. Never mind. I forgot about that. Oh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> there we go. I liked Caden. You guys are mean. He tried his best. Give me items, dog. This is cool. You can do those optional fights to get this toad into this room. This reminds me a lot of the, the music from Zozo in Final Fantasy VI. So weird. Yeah, Ashley's pretty racist. She's Space Republican. Space Karen. Her name is Ashley, after all. Right. Can I give a masculine V huge boobs? Uh... I think the way that that would work is you would pick... You would pick feminine V, but then give feminine V a masculine face and a masculine voice. But... and a penis. But I think that... That it... I feel like that's... That's... That's doable. I feel like that's doable. That seems like a thing that could happen. I don't know for sure. I don't know. I don't- I don't work on the game. I can't speak on behalf of it. I'm just speculating. Just- just speculating here. Trying to be very clear. Is this the room with the peaches? Peaches. I don't think so. What are peaches? I mean, I know what peaches are, but... In the context of Super Mario RPG and them being in a room... You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? I wanna jump on it, though. Yeah, you know what that sound is. The sound of the the bed's supports giving out. It's because me and Peach jump on this thing all day. Oh no, there's so many There's so many toads in danger. I'm gonna lightning bolt these fools. Oh, behind the fireplace? Oh, Peach's toy? Wait, hold on. Sorry, what? Just thinking out loud, there are no right leaners in this chat, are they just very tolerant to these side remarks? Probably very tolerant, but... I'm pretty comfortable saying if you support Trump, you're either a racist or you're cool with racists. It's, it's getting pretty easy to say things like that. And over here? How do you get behind the, uh... How do you get behind the fireplace? I don't see any toys. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry, dog. Go support racists somewhere else. It's a very harsh take. It's a tr- it's- it's not a take, it's the truth. It's, uh, I'm sorry, dog. It's, like, right out there. If you're cool with him, you're cool with racism. That's, like, that's just it. There's really no other way to think about that. Sorry. Sorry, man. There are plenty of right-wing people that hate Trump. All right. You can do that. But if you vote for him... Sorry, dude. You don't get to pretend like that's not a thing. I don't know. I don't know if... Any, if I, it's so weird that this is like even that like people are even remotely remotely weirded out by that. It's just it's right there. I'm just saying stuff out loud.
I'm not cool with them, but don't make blanket statements like that. That's fucked. No, I am gonna make blanket statements like that. That's an easy one to make. Like, blanket statements are easy to make sometimes. Stealing is wrong. Pretty easy. Throwing trash on the ground. Shitty thing to do. Blanket statement. If you support Trump, you support a racist. It's that simple. Like, it's really not that complicated. There's really no other way to... There's no other way to think about it. Generalizing an entire person. Uh, that the MMS push with that notion isn't right. I don't understand what you're saying. Don't litter. Easy. Don't be racist. Easy. Don't support racists. Easy. There's, there's no generalizing there. Mainstream media. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, I'm not part of the mainstream media. And I'm sorry that, uh, do you think that that's mixed up in this in any way? But it's not. I'm just saying obviously true things. Oh, mainstream media says Trump is racist, so he's racist. No, it's his racism that makes him racist. Uh, sorry. I, maybe you were confused that I was... I was, like, part of, like, a movement or whatever? No, it's, it's actual racism that does it. Yeah, sorry, Grace. Ooh. Give me my gold coin. That's my gold coin. All right. Just deep clean your viewers. Oh. No sweat off my back. Please just avoid this topic. No, actually. I usually don't bring it up, but I have no problem. I have no problem saying it. Like, these are not complicated things. That's why it's easy. Um, to me this has all the weight of being like, I need to take the garbage out. So, uh, I'm not going to avoid them, but uh, I won't relish in them. It's not everything I talk about. I certainly wouldn't want it to become everything, you know? Uh, Perrin, thanks for gifting a sub. Mecha Flying Cobra, thanks for gifting out a couple of subs. I kind of wait until, like, the base stats get over one. I don't know if this is the proper way to level or not. The chat doesn't want to hear my opinions on national affairs, we shouldn't bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up. That's the, that's the thing. Like... I am, I am not so desperate for viewers that I am going to willfully omit things about myself and what I believe to make somebody comfortable, because I'm pretty confident that the things that I believe in are not vicious and not, uh, not uh, destructive or antisocial. So, um, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I understand that when some people want uh, entertainment and distraction, they don't want to think about uncomfortable things. That's why I don't want to dwell on stuff like that. That's never my goal, to like, antagonize people. But I'm also not going to... I'm not going to avoid it, if that makes any sense. So, um, TKO, thanks for gifting five subs. Ajax, thanks for five subs. Jeez. Manaway Forlorn, thanks for the gift. Emkin Frog, thank you for the cheer. You guys throwing money at me for, say, for saying Orange Man bad? I'd like to specify, I was more upset with you saying if you vote for Trump, you are racist, which isn't the case. Um, some people liked his plans for the economy, even though he didn't have one. I do agree with you are supporting a racist stance, though. Yeah, it's... At what, like, at what point does it transition, though? At what point are you so okay with somebody's outright racism that you are also racist? It has to not mean that much to you, right? 
If you're okay with it or willing to look the other way, it has to not mean that much to you. That's also a problem. Um, so... The thing is, like, it... I would be more torn up about it if it were harder to say. But... There's been example after example that really disproves anything about it. it. Takes any nuance out of it. It's just, yep, that's exactly what it is. You have you have left no doubt in anyone's mind that that's exactly how you feel and exactly the policy that you're going to go after. I'm grateful I get to hear different opinions and keep up to date on what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I try to not to. Be careful of making blanketed statement like that. It marginalizes an entire segment of the U.S. populace. They're marginalizing themselves. All right. I'm not the one being racist. I'm not the one supporting a racist. That's not my fault. That's not on me. Um, other people doing it and then getting mad that I'm saying that's what that is. That's not my fault. Just don't do it. It's that simple. There was... Th whatever. Yeah, he says the quiet part out loud all the time because he, like, people want to hear the quiet part. Didn't come here to talk politics. This isn't politics, shockingly. It's become political because there's one political party that seems to double down on horrible, horrible things, but saying that racism is bad and that you shouldn't support racists is not a political statement. I, yeah, just don't be racist. Yeah, it's human rights. It, there's some crossover because for some reason, well, somehow a political party has made like Things... Well, I won't get into it. These boys love bouncing. But, wait till they see this bounce. Can't even bounce! We'll see about that. Oh. Yeah. Mario hates racists. Yeah, telling people to not be racist is not political. Unless your political platform is racism. That's the only counter-argument. Although, I guess... The challenge is by saying that you put somebody in that position, so that's not fair. I can see that. But... Wow. A lingering butt on that one. <laughs> Chewbacca? Thanks for the sub. Oh, shit. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Guy who was streaming, you seem awfully... You seem a little puckered. You seem a little troubled, my man. What's your camera? What's your camera turned? You mean called? Oh, I did turn it. I put it over there now. This is my uh, this is my streamer vision. Let's see if I can get the if I can get the timing on the lightning bolt. That'll take out all the pogo mans. You got talking points for days, yeah. The wait for Cyberpunk has been longer than the Confederacy. Very ambitious this chair. Yeah, I'm very, very lucky. It's also pretty comfy, too. I got, I got so lucky, you guys. Dang it. I'm not at all... I like you as a person and a fan. Ah, okay. Seemed like you were, you were going from 0 to 100 there. I just like how, like, the the equivalences are funny, right? Like, one president can put everything out there on full display. Everything. He can actually break the law. It's right there, right in front of you. And somehow you have to dive, like, into 18 Reddit threads deep to find one link to a blurry screenshot with compression artifacts all over it that proves the other guy's... proves without a shadow of a doubt the other guy's connected to, like, a sex ring. And suddenly those two things are equally equally valid one guy they're being like yes i commit crimes and i love it i love to commit crimes other guy some reddit thread doo -doo 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 -doo. three clinks in bad image well there you go clearly those are the same things come on just trying to explore the belief systems that you're projecting in the stream see you're you're giving it away dude you're giving it away you are a little puckered belief systems you are giving away you were trying to indoctrinate people come on Come on, dude. That's an 877 come on now. Oh, firewall! Okay. Anyway. I don't have to talk about it anymore. But.
Don't have to dwell on things, but things gotta be said when they're getting said. It's power dynamics, Ogmef. Oh, oh. Tramulanted? I'm, my belief systems made you gay? Ooh. Well, you're welcome. Oh, crap. I didn't know he would regenerate those. Uh oh. Anyway, I'm gonna, again, just roll back to you. It's not a belief system to say exactly what something is, especially when it's obvious. Yeah, Nitro, no, I understand. All right, I get it. Um, I, I think I think that stuff can be, I think, pretty elegantly summed up by, there's such a thing as choosing the better of two bad options. There, that, is a, that is a real thing, and it really works. Dang it! Lawrence, you think the entire- the whole Republican Party is racist? Hmm... I'm gonna say that that's a statistical impossibility. There has got to be. Got to be. At least one that isn't. But again, where do you draw the line between being a thing and being so complicit with a thing? Like, and that thing not being bad enough to drive you away. Um... Everyone draws the line somewhere. That's that's a that's a that's a judgment call. I don't think that uh, that you can um, say one way or the other exactly where that line is. To me, the complicity is is well over any position of reason reasonable reasonable place. Like the the stuff ha should have been so bad a long time ago that. No matter how close it is in other areas to what you align with, it should have passed the point where it's acceptable. So, that's where I'll put that. And when it comes to the morality of it. What's up, Tim the Blair? Yeah, the moral authority of Netflix's Geralt. Yeah, Umbra, I mean, there are a lot of people talked about not having a two-party systems, but that's just how people are, you know? They like they like team versus team. I think that's just that's just part of the human experience. I don't know that you can really change that. There's also just the dynamic of how like votes get split that makes it impossible. Things you align with can alter your perception of truth to see more of what you believe what actually is. That's true. I guess that's true. But, uh, if that's the case, like, if, if you accept that level of moral relativity, then how do you prosecute anyone of a crime? Because by their perception, they didn't think it was bad. There has to be a point at which you can draw objective conclusions about what's right and wrong, and about how, like, there should, there should be a point of no return. And it sh should have been hit a long time ago for a lot of people. Oh, there are other countries who have multiple party systems beyond two? Yeah, I've just, I've been so... This is, the United States is all I know, so... That's the system that drives and reinforces it. Within both parties, U.S. parties, you have wildly differing opinions and stances. Some conservative Dems could definitely be Republicans with no change in platform. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, the, the party system aspect I'm, I'm not super, super educated on. It goes beyond Trump government in general. That may be, but right now, the easy thing to do is to not vote for that shit. That's... There's, there's always bigger problems going on to, like... You can roll problems all the way back to, like, Greek philosophy ideas about self and id and actualization if you want, but... Some things aren't that hard. Uh, aren't that hard to, to nail down. There's not that much activity, you guys. Come on now, Wubbly. <laughs> That's the thing. Again, none of this, none of this is actually politics. I've not talked about... I get, Maybe I'm projecting too much of my own definition in it, but to me, politics is how you get something done. 
Um, and to some degree, that that's such a broad topic that it does affect a lot of things. I'm just commenting about morality. Um, they can be different, except lately, political ideas seem to start aligning more and more with, like, actual bad things. Yeah. It is my political position that I want to do... I want to violate civil rights. Like, that... That's making politicals... That's turning morality into politics, which makes it sound like it's defensible, but... It's not. Um... Yeah, 22 letters. Uh... Talk about widespread propaganda while simultaneously not acknowledging their victims of some of the most targeted propaganda in recent memory. Yeah, the, the, the propaganda machine has been... If I weren't immersed in it, I would be impressed by it. Because it is the future. Everything we're seeing. Uh, JJL, JJJL75. Congratulations on receiving a gift sub from King Egg. It's good to see you, King. Or good to have you in chat. If for no other reason than you just threw money at me, but... I appreciate your... Uh, I feel, like, uh, feel like I'm learning a little bit. Yes, we need a... We need a system like the uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. It's apparently working very well. Here's the thing. Just to disseminate any... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Just to disseminate anything. That's not a big deal. Uh, anything I talked about is not a big deal. I'm telling you guys to not pretend like it's a big deal. Because my viewership didn't change at all. There wasn't like an exodus or anything like that. Um, stop pretending like it's it's even something worth acknowledging. I want to take the, p the power out of saying obvious things. So, that's me. Oh yeah, the actual like biblical description of the Antichrist? Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not the only one to notice that like... The, the similarities there are way powerful. Like, way more powerful than Obama. I remember a lot of a lot of hyper-conservative uh, groups calling Obama the Antichrist. Well, a lot. That's strong. There was at least one, I should say. And I remember reading that and being like, oh lord. But, by the numbers, where we're, where we're at now is actually way closer to what the Bible described. Yeah, Black Lives Matter is not a political statement, unfortunately. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Penguinicorn. Racism, homophobia, transphobia, ableism are bad, and saying that isn't radical. Thank you! Which is why I'm like, it's not a big deal, guys. It doesn't have to be anything. Yeah, Super Mario RPG is so good. I'm, I'm actually appreciating a whole lot more about it. I loved this game as a kid, but I never played it since. So it's been great to come back to it and actually realize that there's a lot of merit and value here. Um, yeah, no hot takes yet. Wait a minute, do I need to... I can't remember if getting the star heals me. I think it does? It did. Alright. Oh, yeah, I gotta make veggies soon. Look at that star piece. Okay. I think I'm gonna move on to the next game. Or rather, I'm going to... I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna microwave some vegetables. Um, I'm gonna scarf those vegetables down. It's only gonna take like five minutes. But this is kind of what I have to do to stay conscious. Uh, and I'll be back in just a second. I don't know what I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna play. Maybe Forza? Yeah, we'll do Forza Rise next. That'll be fun. Yeah, Mr. Dominion, I've already, I've already either roasted or, or uh, sautéed a lot of the vegetables. So, they actually microwave pretty well. I only put them in there for like 20 seconds, just to get them warm. But, uh, come back to some, some hot tunes and some hot cars. See you guys in just a second. You can shoot them with your...